Do you know there's a real medical condition where your skin produces worm-like filaments made of the same material as your fingernails? And no, I don't mean hair. This is called Morgellons disease, and it's often experienced by people with chronic Lyme. As someone who's been treating patients with chronic illnesses for a long time, I have seen and heard of some super weird stuff, and this one is definitely up there. It's also not really well understood by most doctors, so patients get some kind of fringy ideas about it, and I have heard everything from worms infecting the skin to extraterrestrial nanobots described as being its cause. A little more about the creepy crawlies. But there is a lot of research around it. And we have a pretty clear idea both of what it is and how it should be addressed. The closest condition we know of to Morgellons is bovine digital dermatitis, which is weird growth out of the skin of a cow. And it's also caused by bacteria in the same family as the one that causes Lyme. The filaments are made of keratin, the same stuff as your hair and nails, but also have an amyloid component, making them similar to the plaques found in the brains of patients with Alzheimer's. And I want to be clear, I am not saying that all Alzheimer's patients have Lyme, but Borrelia can definitely cause amyloid deposits in the brain, so it kind of makes sense it could show up in other places too. Like right now, my cat is being a lazy floofy pom-pom instead of a good mouser, and anywhere the mice go, they leave the mice equivalent of amyloid plaques under my kitchen sink get a job. Now I want to address the elephant in the room around this, which is that a lot of patients who go to the doctor and say they feel crawling under the skin and see little weird things growing out of their skin, and because all things chronic Lyme are rarely understood by most doctors, and many of these patients are middle-aged women, the doctors think the patients are crazy and just prescribe psychiatric treatment. Even Mayo suggests this is the best route. And they say, get treatment for any condition that affects your thinking, mood, or behavior, which like, come on guys, infections can do that, but SSRIs aren't gonna cut it. So I think we can do better, enter earthworms. Wait, what? Yeah, sorry, it's gross, I know. Also not vegan, but not exactly endangered either. Earthworms have this cool compound called lumbrokinase, which has been extensively studied for its effects on fibrin. Traditionally, earthworms are used as medicine for some of these symptoms of itching and crawling under the skin when we can also see that blood clots are forming incorrectly. The blood clots in this case are the improperly laid down fibrin and keratin, and the Borrelia infection is behind it. So when we treat patients with Morgellons in the clinic, we will often put just a teensy weensy bit of medicinal earthworms into the patient's formula to direct the actions of it to those parts of the body, along with the herbs we use to slay the spirochetes. Yum. The more you know.